So in this video, we're going to talk about the market in FIFA Mobile 23. Now this market, probably none of you like, and I'm going to talk about how they can make it a little bit better. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So yeah, market is quite bad in this one, in this in this FIFA Mobile, right? We, we've been playing this, uh, uh, this version of FIFA Mobile for about a year, I think. And it's very, very hard to sell your players. For example, we've got a lot of Team of the Year players right here, 105, 103, 104. It's very, very hard. Obviously, you, you can sell some of them. As you can see, I'm trying to sell more 106s, 107s. I did manage to sell 107, for example, there, Rafael, uh, Rafael Leao, but you can't, you're, you're most likely not gonna be able to sell most of your cards, which is quite bad. And obviously, you know, FIFA Mobile market was very, very different last season. Last season, we had bots, they were buying our cards and they were relisting them after that. In this one, there are no bots. You are just trying to purchase the cards or sell cards and they are just adding up right here, as you can see, which means you can't really sell uh, most of your cards. Very, very bad market. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you if you like this market more than last market. But yeah, it, it's, it's quite bad. And I would like to actually go back to last season's market, to be honest. Last season, as I said, we had bots uh, no normal people, normal uh, like real people were not bu were not buying our cards. Bots were buying our cards, and we were buying bots cards. But at least then we could sell uh, most of our players, most of our cards, pretty much all of our cards if we needed to. They could come down as low as possible. Uh, for example, when Valver no, no Valverde, maybe when Davis can't go lower than eleven point five mil, and no one can sell him for that price. Uh, last season we could it he could have been. Uh, as low as like 2 mil, 3 mil, and we would have been able to sell him. Now, not so much. And bots, obviously, we're gonna buy those cards and they were, they were gonna release them. Now, it's very, very hard to make some coins, uh, a lot of coins in this event, in, in this FIFA Mobile. Obviously, a lot of people could go like 500 mil, billion, and stuff like that. But if you are, if you are a starter and uh, if you are a starter, uh, in this in this game, if you have just started it, it's quite hard to make a lot of coins to then buy high overall players. And the cards that we've got right now, they've got no use. The only use for them is to just go ahead and put them into an exchange. Uh, we and these exchanges are very very bad. For example, this exchange right here, one thirteen over one one hundred three plus overall exchange. We need to put one one hundred one to one one hundred three overall cards. This exchange, which I don't really like that much either, need um eight. 104 to 106 overall players and the last one is 108 plus where we need um, 8 107 or 108 overall cards I don't like any of them, but uh, if you want to get rid of those 101 or 102 overall cards This is the best way to get rid of them get 103 plus overall or even 104 to and 105 overalls If you want to get rid of them This is the best pack for that to try to get maybe 108 overall but the way they can make it better, as I said, the first option is go back to last season's market. Obviously, in this season, it's gonna be very, very hard to change that market. But hopefully, whenever we get new a new version of FIFA Mobile, um, in the new in the whole new season, they, they're gonna go back to uh, last season's uh, FIFA Mobile market or make it the same as console version. Make it same as console version. They can be. They can go as low as possible, and uh, if you can't, if you can't go lower than that, for example, on console there are informs to are like who who can be sold uh, quick sold for 10k. You can go in and quick sell those type of cards, right? It's it's gonna make so much sense. It's gonna make so much more sense. Obviously, with do, with that type of market, it, there is a problem. There is a little bit of a problem that maybe some people are gonna transfer coins from one account to another, but. That, that's the same type of problem on uh, FIFA 23 and people are getting banned for that. So I think it's gonna be quite cool if they introduce that type of uh, market. This type of market that we have right now this season, we haven't seen it in FIFA Mobile ever before or in on console version as well. Mm -hmm. It was quite hard to understand at first and some people thought it, it might have been a good market but it's definitely a disaster. I don't think it's good at all. Let me know down in the comment section though if you like this type of market. I definitely don't and most people I think do not like it. We obviously got the team of the year event right now as well, which is again quite boring, isn't it? Which is very, very boring indeed. Every single day all you do is play skill games, watch ads, uh, play matches, the, uh, matches against AI and all that. And I'm not even doing it anymore because I have bought enough players to open those two ultimate team of the year players. I don't really need to play this event anymore. When this refreshes, I'm gonna play it, I guess, because I'm gonna open a lot of packs and team their exchange packs. So it's not gonna be bad. I'm gonna definitely play this one 
um, whenever it comes out in about one 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 hour and twenty minutes for me or seventeen eighteen minutes. I'm gonna go and buy, I'm gonna go ahead and play them. But other than that, I don't really have anything to do. I don't I don't really have anything left in this event anymore to go on and claim. Let me know though how you're enjoying Team of the Year. Have you opened any any Ultimate Team of the Year player packs yet? I would imagine most of you you are free to play haven't opened uh, both of them. But yeah, in the next refresh, whenever we can play this tournament versus attack or head to head, you can go out and play. It. Uh, you can go out and claim Ultimate Team of the Year players, of course. But yeah, all you need to do is play skill games, watch ads in the Prime icon section as well, because you're gonna get nine Prime tokens every single day uh, to then open uh, to then open these packs as well. Uh, where is it? The, there, these packs. To try to pack some more Team of the Year players or maybe Prime icons if you are very, very lucky. And you got the reward part, of course, as well. And uh, to claim those cards, Ultimate Team of the Year players and open more exchange packs, um, you need to also play the FIFA World Cup tournament and the challenge mode. That's all it is to it. That's all it is to it. But I'm not. I'm not really enjoying this um, team of the year event either. Like it, it's it's quite boring. Let's be honest. Now we can I open any of the packs. As I said, I'm not really playing this event, so I can open one of those packs to get 98 to 100 raw player because I think I got them for free from today's login. Can I open exchange pack though? No, I can't because I only got one player. So. I can't really do much. Star Pass is gonna refresh today as well. Whenever this uh, video comes out, the Star Pass is probably already refreshed because I'm not gonna release it right now. I'm gonna release it tomorrow, I think. We are getting the new type of event, I think, as well. Um, and new Prom icons. The Prom icons are gonna be changed. For you, they are already changed, but uh, it's gonna be Zidane there instead of... Oh, it is already changed. Okay, Zidane, Muller, and Matheus are already changed. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't expect them to be changed already. But yeah, that's cool, I guess. We've got the new uh, Prime icons. Zidane looks like an incredible card, of course. Five star, five star. You can play him as a striker, calm, CDM event, central mid. Everywhere he's going to be incredibly good. Uh, Muller, Gerd Muller as well. Five star, four star as a striker. Incredible card for him as well. And 100 overall, Lothar Mateus. CDM once again. Great card, a little bit short for a CDM, of course, but he's gonna do a great job by the way at that position. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a new type of event as well, I think. I don't know what, what event is gonna be, but I think it's just gonna be a story event, to be honest. Let me open this free pack. I can, so why not? Um, yeah, 10,000 coins, it's not It's not a great one, is it? New type of packs, as I said. Um, let me know if you're excited for it. If, if it already came out, let me know if you like it or not. But that's pretty much it for today's video, right? That's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about Team of the Year, about this season's market. Are you hoping that the market is going to change? And how do you want it to change? Do you want it to uh, go back to the way it was last year, last season, in the last season's FIFA Val? Um, or do you want just like it is on FIFA console version, on PlayStation and X Xbox? Or do you want the same one? Or do you want some other changes as well? Anyways, this is going to be the end of the video, guys, for today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And peace.